we're here in, uh, we work in Alexanderplatz in Berlin, and we are going to do a clash of the titans. Uh, we're going to do Origin AI uh, versus Bolt versus Lovable versus Replit. Um, all of the big guns. I am deeply terrified <laughs> by it, given that these guys have multiple times, if not exponentially, more funding than, than we do. But luckily, I have Stelios, who, who is less who is less scared than I am. We're going to do two tests. Uh, we're going to do one which will just be like a Hello World, like a, the simplest type of website you can do. In our test case, we call it Hello World with Image, which is like just the text Hello World with an image behind. It's like the simplest website you could, you could possibly make. Hypothesis, all of them are going to do it well. Then we're going to do a second test. And the second test is going to be more complicated. It's going to be to build a CRM with authentication. Uh, so hypothesis, we're hoping the origins more uh, in-depth workflow is going to perform better in, in this one than, than some of the others, but we're going to see. So, so with Bolt, uh, I'm actually being asked to choose what technical stack I want. So we're immediately in uh, full-on developer, developer mode. So we're spinning up some kind of virtual machine or something. I can see code straight away. Uh, okay, uh, let's... Okay, well, after struggling to get into Bolt, now we got there and it was, it was kind of good. Actually, this was super rapid, easily the fast, fastest, actually, of of all of them, right? Yeah, literally seconds, I feel. Uh, so well done, Bolt, on speed. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna help us deploy it, but we've got to do it on Netlify, which is a third-party service. You know, it was, it's quite code-heavy, uh, and I've got to go and claim this URL, so yeah, this is not for, for purely non-technical users, even despite its initial speed. Revit's come up with a preview now. Maybe not the best image. Um, so we're going to deploy it because this isn't deployed yet. So. Yeah, let's check out the flow. Uh, so it looks like they give us a couple of options here. Yeah, yeah. I'm choosing like virtual machine setups and stuff. Yeah. So cool, cool. If I know what that is. Yeah. Maybe less cool if. Uh, let's go with the default. Yeah. And... The lovable's coming first with our hello world. It's, it's just just published. Right? Let's, let's take a look. That's nice. That's pretty nice. And, and we like that little, the little lovable, power by lovable thing in the corner. That's, that's nice. Well done, lovable. <laughs> Although it has to be said that this just looks like the same Paris stock image that Bolt pulled. Uh, so it hasn't actually generated a, a custom image. This isn't Paris at night. This is just Paris. So slight negative mark there. Okay, Origin has now come in with its example. I'm going to give Origin some good marks there. I think the image is kind of a little more captivating. Uh, and I like the way that it's, gi it's given the, the text a little bit of background to increase the contrast. I didn't, didn't ask it to do that. So just like with uh, Lovable, uh, Origin sites can be deployed just with a single click. Uh, so there's no third-party services or compl complicated configuration or anything like that. Just one click. Uh, so we're at Lovable. Uh, we've asked it to build us a CRM uh, that uses uh, a database in, in the back. Uh, and one thing we've been asked is to connect it to Superbase uh, for, for a backend. Otherwise, we, we get an error message. But, but to have the database, we needed to go and sign up to an external service. Exactly. exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, whereas with Origin, it's all just completely seamless. After we made the connection to Superbase, it faced an issue that it asked us to uh, try to fix. Uh, so we asked it to fix it. It had a, it identified a migration related issue. It changed some SQL. Um, it applied the fix. Um, but now if we try and test it with, with a company, uh, we get another issue failed to, to add a company. We'll go um, around again though, right? I mean, and like, we'll, we'll try we'll go around and again. We'll see I mean, how. we're now on the third attempt. Uh, and it managed to, to create the company, to have a company space that can persist companies to, to a database. Um, and at some point it started working on the opportunities page and then it said it was done. Uh, and then we've been stuck in adding new opportunities and for whatever reason it, it's failing at, at, at inserting a new opportunity. I think we're done, it's yeah. getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like Bolt is also going for Superbase here. So I've got to create some kind of database connection. So this is throwing me out of the, the normal seamless 
flow that, that Origin would have. I've got to go and set up this third party thing. But I'll, I'll do that now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, maybe no, it, might be, it might be working. This is quite nice. I quite like this, like it's doing this like checklists. Yeah. That's quite yeah, nice. Good Despite its nice little checklist here, Bolt has been, <laughs> it's been on finalized setup for, for quite a while. And I have to admit, even being a technical person, I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. I'm thinking we do the same as we did with Lovable. We start it, we give it a benefit yeah. of that, we start again from scratch. <laughs> okay. Okay, and actually of the three competitors, Replit didn't ask, for, it actually set up a database, right? Yeah, exactly. And it looks like it's, uh, it's, it did something with the CRM and it's asking us to, to validate the functionality. So let's try entering a company. Um, let's try uh, something random, add a company. Oh, we need a URL. Let's add a dummy URL. Oh, maybe it needs HTTP. Okay, success. Yeah, it added a company. Um, cool. Okay, so of the of the three competitors, yeah, uh, Replit set up was the only one that set up the database seamlessly, like Origin would. So uh, we've asked Replit since it was able to finish the, the first iteration of the CRM. We've asked it to add authentication, uh, and it just finished. So it tells us that we have a username and password of admin admin. So let's try that. Um, then we click login. Uh, oops, and now we have a uh, a common bug, rendered fewer hooks unexpected. Um, this is quite technical <laughs> and I'm a bit confused, so I'll have to Google that and get back to you. Okay, so remember, Origin breaks things into a project plan. It's a whole product team. So it's, it's done it in multiple stages, whereas the other uh, solutions try to do it all at once. So it's done the layout and it's done the company's page in the CRM first. Got a pretty slick interface. I think it's probably winning in terms of the slickness of the interface. And here we can see what companies with a modal. Let's do say IBM. I'm gonna say Luke. Okay, it's good. It's finished the second stage. We don't have any errors. Uh, so we've got we've still got the original companies page. We've now got the opportunities page. Remember, it broke it into two tasks. Unlike the others that try to do it all at once. Uh, I'm gonna go back and tell it. Okay, yep, yeah, that's done. And then we'll. At trying to add the authentication. So far, so good. Okay, and there we have it. Origin has successfully added the authentication. Uh, let's give it a go. Just make sure we can log in. Yeah, looks like everything is working. Okay, so we we told Replit to see if we could fix that one little extra bug that was showing on the screen, and sure enough, it, it fixed it. So, so out of the four, Replit is the only other one that managed to get all the way through, including authentication. It did it pretty well, but it's, it's clearly very technical. It's like targeted at technical people. Lovable, Bolt, despite multiple efforts, didn't actually get to the CRM level, let alone the authentication level. So we've got Replit and Origin, uh, the winners of that round, and Origin if you're non-technical, which makes me pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs>